please review Pizza Ranch sometime. Well, Kayla, we're gonna make your dreams come true, honeybee. I haven't eaten in 10 days just for this occasion. I'm going to be dunking everything in a ranch. Who wants to dip some pizza in some ranch? Let's go, girls. I am very excited for Pizza Ranch. I haven't been in a few years. There's a debate in our family, so I'm just assuming it's happening in the whole world, that either Pizza Ranch is amazing or it's disgusting. You're either on one side of the spectrum. And I've always been on the amazing side, but maybe now I'll think it's disgusting. I might switch over to that corner. So that's also gonna be the investigation of this video. In case you wanna wear Pizza Ranch is a pizza buffet, and there's actually a high chance you aren't a whale because it's mostly in the Midwest of the Americas. It's not like a giant chain. It kinda seems like it's Texas themed or like it just, yeah. it basically reminds me of like down home family re reunion. Out on the ranch. Yeah. Moo. And even though it might not have that many locations, they still claim to have the world's best chicken. It gets to a point where so many places claim to have the world's best chicken. I like how you can just throw out claims like that. <laughs> as long as it's a quote and one person said it, then you're allowed to yeah, claim it that. Yeah, it isn't a lie. Yeah, like that's one true. one person thought it. Yeah, so, so one person thought the Pizza Ranch had the world's best chicken. <laughs> so now it's the world, world's best chicken. Right when we walked into Pizza Ranch, I realized that their vision is to glorify God by positively impacting the world. During this Pizza Ranch buffet, we might get closer to God and also just experience his glory. I kind of feel like we're helping the world then by even just eating at Pizza Ranch. Because we're spreading gospel. Oh yeah, so instead of going to church, you could just go to Pizza Ranch. We've only been at Pizza Ranch for one minute and it's already getting an A+. They let you pick where you sit and you get to fill up your own drink. Finally felt free. When after we paid for the buffet, she said, sit wherever and here's some drinks. It's like we aren't going to be walked by a hostess down the walk of terror. We don't know where she's going to put us. They have enough confidence in their customers to let them pick the gosh dang table. <sighs> This is such a blessing. I don't want to sit in the middle of the room and have everyone look at me much because everyone would look at me. Also, I don't want to be sat next to someone with bad vibes. I want to be able to read everyone's little aura and decide who I want to be by. We actually walked around the whole entire restaurant and then we found the perfect booth for us where it felt safe, nurturing, and like there was no judgment. Basically, we sat in an area where nobody could see us. I knew if anybody saw us, they would judge us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> judge us for what? <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of stuff to judge us for. As you guys all know. Pro tip. Eating a tiny bit of black purple before a buffet decreases your chance of feeling bloated. It sounded like pseudoscience. But it isn't pseudoscience. <laughs> Should we go to the buffet? I thought you never would ask. Plate one, salad. We started off at the salad chunk of the buffet. It had everything that you'd expect. Nothing too special, but nothing too unspecial. It just was middle of the road salad buffet. I think every buffet needs a salad Wow, because it's the perfect place to start out. Life is being lived. <laughs> mm -hmm. Add a bunch of toppings on, feel like you're eating healthy, but then douse it in Pizza Ranch Ranch. I loved how they gave you those little squirt bottles. There wasn't a big bowl of it that you had to scoop. You could squirt, which I enjoyed. Yeah, I love a good squirt. It's better than dumping. I would say squirt is the best method to retrieve liquid. There was also some chili at the salad bar and some crackers, um, and uh, we got a bowl of chili. Had to try it, of course. So far, I'm not grossed out by the buffet. It seems clean and um, friendly, which I like. Yeah, I actually feel like from the multiple buffets we've gone to in the last couple of years, I feel like the second you walk into a buffet, you know if you're gonna be grossed out or not. And this one, yeah, I didn't get any grossed out energy. I kept saying throughout the Pizza Ranch experience, I feel so free. <laughs> 
I feel so lucky to be here tonight. I know. They really do glorify God in that building. Yeah, because like, why did I feel so good? I'm assuming it has something to do with God. Yeah, my salad was stacked with every little vegetable I could fit on there, even a little bit of spinach to add some extra health benefits. And of course, I dusted it off with some Cheeto dust. First, I thought I got too big of a plate. I didn't eat every bite, but I did eat most of it. Okay. I'm ready for a plate too. I honestly wasn't in a salad mood, but I was determined to, to try every bit of this buffet. So I basically just got a lettuce and onion and sunflower seed salad with ranch. And I gotta say, I like it. I could probably eat onion on its own. It's kind of fun. As you can tell, there was no scraps left. So all of that was in my tummy. It's gonna get digested. My body's gonna take what it needs from it. And then the rest is gonna come out my good old shit all little science lesson. Something about this chili wasn't speaking to me. I was in fact really grossed out and I even got further grossed out because as I was mixing it, Lucas kept whispering, diarrhea? <laughs> and that's just disgusting. It makes me sound like a kindergartner. Mm. A good bite. Diarrhea? Stop it. It would be the perfect chili to add on top of a chili dot. Yeah, honestly, it was good. But I just wouldn't get it because something about chili at a buffet grosses me out. But yesterday, it was like a hot spring day. Like, it felt like summer, so who wants to eat chili? But like, if I was coming there on a winter night, like, maybe I would want a little bowl of chili. I, I just couldn't because we went to the bathroom and I saw someone shitting. Like, I didn't see them shitting, but I saw someone's feet sitting down. And something about when you go to the bathroom and you realize someone's shitting and then you're munching on chili, it's very disgusting. And like, I kind of think that people should only be allowed to pee at buffets. I don't think people should be able to poop at any restaurant. I know, it's, it's actually disrespectful when you actually get you down to it. You can poop at drug stores. Yeah, that's and so stores. the utter disrespect. Plate two. Pizza. Imported from Italy. Just joking. It's actually imported from... The Nebraska, ranch. Iowa. We're gonna name all of the pizzas they had because they had a lot. Or try to name them all. Breakfast pizza. Another breakfast pizza. Sicilian pizza. I actually don't even know what that is, but Lucas said it was Sicilian pizza. Yeah, I think it is. What else did they have? I can't remember. This is, whoever can't name one loses. Wait, shit. Wait, I actually can't think of any. What else was there? Just think about a basic pizza. Oh, there's cheesy bread. Okay. Oh, they had like a ranch chicken one. Ranch bacon chicken. Supreme. Yeah. I guess you guys made that up. I think they did, though. Um, I actually lost the game because I can't name another one. Sorry. This is something that is very stressful about buffets. Sometimes you can't really get things with the utensils provided, and it gets stressful. And you try your best to not touch the food with your hand because that is gross. Thankfully, I didn't have to touch the pizza with my hand, and I could cut it and um, do my whole shindig thing. I'm pretty sure a thing about pizza ranch is they're supposed to have funky pizzas. Like it's not just pepperoni, cheese, and hamburger. The fact that there's two breakfast pizzas just out and about, that kind of proves that they're a little bit funky. Pro tip, always take advantage of the Parmesan and pizza red hot chili flakes. A lot of people miss them because they put them in areas where they're hidden because they're very expensive, but get your money's worth. If you see someone pouring Parmesan or red purple flakes on their pizza, you know they're in the tax bracket where like like half of their cash is going straight to the government. Like that's how that's how much money they're making in. It's upper class behavior. Yeah. My name is Lucas and I am fancy. So me and Lucas walked back to our table, all jolly and stuff. But then times got even jolly. So when we were checking in or like just saying how many people for the buffet, we said two people. For two grown men to eat, it was $33.46. After we did that, she asked, do you want to order anything? Um, anything else? And we were under the assumption, we aren't going to pay extra to order everything. All the food that we have is on the buffet. But then we asked, wait, what do you mean by that? And then she kind of looked at us like, oh, you guys aren't regulars. You guys are city folk. Now she. <laughs> <laughs> now you're done at the ranch. We got to order special pizzas with no extra cost. Yeah, I don't know if there's a limit to how many you can do per time you're there. That you can just say, uh, can you get this at the bar? And before they bring it to the little buffet, they'll bring it to your table and give you the first piece of the fresh pizza hot. While we were requesting our pizzas at the cash register, there was already another guy, like, he already was at the restaurant, but he was at the side of the register, like, wanting to tell her, like, oh, we want more pizza, by the way. <laughs> yeah, like, they had been there for a while, but they were requesting another 
other pizza. So I think you can just, I think it might be unlimited. You would think, oh, that's going to lead to so much just pizza sitting on the buffet. But we went up to the pizza buffet multiple times and the pizzas were always different. Like people munch them up quick. <laughs> like nothing's sitting down for more than 15 minutes before it gets completely eaten. Like the second they put down a pizza, like seven hands pop out. You grab a slice <laughs> and it just immediately the tray is empty. It really felt like we were in a cartoon. Anyway, when we got back, the waiter or whatever had the BLT pizza that we ordered. Oh. Uh, yes, they had BLT pizza. Oh my gosh, your pants are what? I know. And we both tried it. And this BLT pizza, it lived up to my oh expectation my from when I was eight. It was just so good. It had mayonnaise in it. And like, I loved it because it tasted fresh. Like, obviously, it's not actually fresh, but it tasted fresh. You know, something just tasted so, yeah, refreshing about it. Just like something about the lettuce and the tomato and it all worked together so well. People were obsessed with that because we were all thinking, we want to get another piece of this. We went up to the buffet, completely wiped. <laughs> Clean. People loved it. And it was all because of us that they all got to try it, which is kind of cool. At first, when we went up to the buffet, I was pissed. I was like, all these flat asses finished <laughs> the, pe finish the pizza we got. <laughs> but then I was like, I came to Thomas with it and I was like, you know what? Like, I'm a flat ass too. And then also, um, we gave other people joy. So that's good. And then we got done with the BLT pizza. And when we checked in, like when we got to Pizza Ranch, we also ordered mac and cheese pizza. Yes, we're the biggest little kids ever. <laughs> so they brought that over. We haven't even got to our plate of pizza we got from the buffet, but they brought the macaroni pizza over. Steaming hot. Oh completely fresh out of the oven. The mac and cheese pizza, honestly, was really good. This was one of my favorites back when Pizza Ranch first opened and I had it over a decade ago. You guys remember thinking, wait, there's macaroni on pizza? Like, it just really blew my mind that it even existed. It's basically, if you've ever had frozen macaroni and cheese from Stouffer's, put that on a pizza. And it just, it all mm. works. I know it is just Stouffer's mac and cheese on a pizza crust, but something about it made me scream. And is there even sauce on it? Is it just cheese and bread? I don't, there's no red sauce. I think it just is cheese sauce. Maybe the little bit amount of gravy in the middle or something. Maybe something really good. I liked the BLT pizza better though, I do have to say. So like, you know, when you're playing video games and it just is like green, I feel like when I was eating the mac and cheese pizza, I got to red. Like I actually got to a point where if you keep having this much excitement, you might have a panic attack and die. <laughs> oh yeah, there is a, there is a <laughs> fine line between having the best time of your life and then it could get a little bit spilled over the edge and it turns into an anxiety attack. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> I realized when I was eating a pizza, why am I pinching myself? So I had to pinch myself because I could tell like something was building up in me that was bad. I know. It also is scary being in the in the room because if we're feeling this, everyone else is feeling this. So everyone's at this on their table, so excited. If one person did one wrong thing, they could smack them across the face on accident. But not even out of anger, just it's like so, too so much excitement, just pent up energy. <laughs> this Sicilian pizza on thin crust was absolutely delicious. M yeah, I'm, I mean, I munched it up, so yeah. The only con was since we just had these fresh out of the oven pizzas, going back to our plate that had been sitting there for probably five minutes, it was a, wasn't as fresh, you know mm. what I mean? It was off the buffet. It wasn't fresh from the, right from the kitchen. So that was a little bit of a downgrade, but once I got used to that, I was loving it. Even the, the cheese sticks, they didn't live up to the oh, hype. Oh, those weren't. My mouth just experienced a BLT pizza. Then then how do you go to a plain cheese stick? I know, it, felt, it tasted like um, you went to a football park Someone bought pizza at five o'clock and now it's 7 30 and you're going back for a little second. It's been mm. sitting out. I was thinking about talking about every single pizza we got, but basically my favorite one we got at the buffet um was the breakfast pizza. Mm, same. So good. I love when breakfast pizzas have that little cream at the bottom. Oh yeah, there's the like gravy. this little gravy liquids on the in the inner part that just hits with the egg and stuff. All the pizza was good. Some of it you could say was like frozen food energy, which personally I'm actually fine with that. I think I think that might just be all thin crust. All thin crust reminds me of frozen pizza. Tostitos party pizza vibes. While I was eating this pizza, it did get me thinking. Okay, so we're paying about $15 for a buffet. Is this pizza any less quality than like a Domino's or a Pizza Hut pizza? Then I came to this conclusion that I don't think this pizza is lower quality than Domino's or Pizza Hut or any other chain pizza. I just think that going to a buffet, you get more bang for your buck. Like, oh, that's 100%. the end of the story. I think this pizza is the same as any other $12 pizza. Oh yeah, for sure it is, 100%. Plate three. Pizza round two. I got another slice of this like Sicilian pizza because I gotta say, it was slapping me up. I realized that pain and pleasure mix, and yeah, and this pizza was giving me pain, but in the best way. 
Actually, it wasn't giving me pain <laughs> in any way, so. I got pepperoni mushroom, which I don't know who in the room requested that, but a little bit funky. I've never had that in my life, pepperoni mushroom pizza, but it actually was pretty good. And luckily, all of the mac and cheese pizza wasn't gone yet, so I got a cup another slice of that. <sighs> If we went up to the buffet and the mac and cheese pizza was gone, that's when I might have w went around the restaurant and started telling people like, okay, we're going to order another mac and cheese pizza. <laughs> But can you guys please stop taking it? I know. I was actually thinking about like <laughs> stealing it off someone's plate. You know, I ordered this and steal the macaroni thing and say, when you order something, you can get the whole pizza, but I ordered the macaroni and cheese pizza. Yeah. So that's the only problem with people ordering pizza because I started to feel like I owned the pizza. So yeah. at first I was excited about the feel of eating our pizza. Then I started to get mad thinking, why are we requesting it if it's just not going, if it's just going to other people? The fist at plate two, it was pretty tight. I know. Like I was ready to <laughs> hit someone. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? We're gonna pop the pizza bubble. <gasps> oh, just nothing. It just is. Oh, okay, cool. On to the next thing. Okay. All right. Oh. I feel like Logan Paul. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Most of the time, I finish the crust because I honestly enjoy it, but Lucas was like. I'm not gonna eat the crust because like I wanna enjoy the pizza more. And then I got on the same bus. I was like, wait, why am I eating the crust? Like I wanna fill up on the good stuff. So yeah. um there is a plate full of crust, but Pizza Ranch actually donates that crust. No, they don't. It probably just goes in the trash. They should honestly give it to dogs or something. <laughs> like it should be a thing like from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. at night, you can bring your dog to behind Pizza Ranch and there's a whole pile of crust if you just want to eat it. Anyway. This girl with two nose rings that attached with a chain. It honestly was so cool. I've never seen that before. Oh yeah, I never saw that either. We ordered our special pizzas from her and she kept walking past and I was too scared to ask her, but then eventually I walked up to her and said, can we try the broccoli Alfredo chicken pizza? Well, we will actually oh, sure, hon. <laughs> <laughs> we were actually being the biggest little kids though. We actually Googled grossest pizza you can order from Pizza Ranch <laughs> and nothing came up, so. Oh yeah, I was just, I wanted to get a funky one. I've never had broccoli chicken Alfredo pizza, so. I knew we had to try it. They brought this out in like 10 minutes again. It led me to a question of like, how many pizzas could we order? Like, I kind of feel like we could order as much as we want at the end of the day. I don't know. I feel like there would be a cutoff because you know there's people out there who would take advantage and order like 20 or something. I feel like as long as you're eating it, they'll let you order it. But if we ordered like eight, then it gets to the point of like... This pizza, it was good. It, it actually was exactly what you'd expect it to taste like. But like BLT pizza, it tasted like a BLT sandwich. And that was good on pizza. But this one, I didn't really like in pizza form for some reason. Metrics. Oh, eat that pizza, Jacob. Eat it, eat it. This type of food does bring you closer to God. Like, I actually go <laughs> what they're doing. I'll be down. Wait, you hear the music? <laughs> That's like a torch right now. You just mentioned that. They weren't playing that the whole time. Hey, something about this pizza actually is holy. Mm, so with me, it t I loved it and it tasted exactly like, I think the brand is Viola Frozen Chicken Alfredo. They added that on top of the pizza and it was so good. And I loved how like you kind of had a health moment. Oh yeah, the little I broccoli. I am eating broccoli because it's good for my brain. And grilled chicken. Yeah, it's good for your brain. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing about this pizza is that I didn't check, but I kind of have a fail that no one ate it and I got wasted. I remember I, we glanced at the pizza buffet and they had a second one. For some reason, they made two. So I don't know oh, if this so is people like, love this chicken Alfredo pizza. But no one had really eaten it. So I don't know if like maybe it was a hit another night, but that night no one was feeling it. I don't know. Mm. But yeah. Plate number four. The country ranch chicken thing. From a few buffets that we went to, it seems like if you're gonna have a pizza buffet, you need to have a chicken pout. I guess people are really into that. I'm not really into it, but people are. We had to try the world's best chicken, obviously. They had a little pasta station, some haters and gravy, and even some Thanksgiving stuffing for some reason. You know what I actually just realized? Why wasn't there macaroni on there? Because they have <gasps> macaroni, they're using it on the pizzas. Why hey. isn't there a macaroni that we can scoop onto a plate? I swear I thought that when we were eating. Like, huh. where's the mac and cheese? Because they have mac and cheese on pizza. So where is it? 
That's interesting. I would have looked in the back for the mac and cheese, but you actually can't look in the back because they don't let you. So funny that when they built this restaurant, they said, you know what? Let's be transparent. Have an open window to the kitchen. <laughs> now it's blocked. <laughs> like, I just want to know what happened that prompted someone to say, we're not letting people look in it anymore. You know what? I'm we just don't... assuming someone wasn't wearing gloves or something and they were like, okay, let's not get bad Yelp reviews. Let's cover the window for the kitchen. Okay, the world's best chicken, it was pretty good. It, it tasted like an exact replica of uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. It tasted just as good as KFZ. So like, and, and KFC a bucket is... of chicken is probably the cost of this buffet. Yeah, so it was good. I mean, was it world's best? I don't know. It just tasted like any other fried chicken, but it wasn't bad by any means. I don't really understand why they had pasta, but they did. And um, it literally just tasted like boiled normal pasta with tomato sauce on the side. I didn't like this one at all for some reason. Like the tomato sauce had this weird flavor. I don't know what it was though, but I wasn't a fan of it. It kind of reminded me of Campbell's ABC soup. I tried the stuffing in the mashed potatoes and gravy and I just was grossed out. They were good though. Yeah, the stuffing was actually really good. And yeah, and the taters were just whatever, you know, good. Don't get me wrong. I'm a fan of chicken, but I feel like for me at a certain point, there's not really a difference between any of these fried chickens. I could get Popeye's fried thighs, KFC fried thighs, Pizza Ranch fried thighs, and I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Yeah, I could kind of see that. Once it's to a certain level, they're all just the same. So yeah, plate five. Dessert time! It's Pizza Ranch, so they have little dessert pizzas. And they have an ice cream machine. Were you mad in the inside about one thing? Because I know I was, but I didn't mention it because I didn't want to bring down the energy. No, they didn't have cones? They didn't have chocolate syrup or toppings for the ice cream. Oh. The fist did get a little tight. Once I tried this ice cream, I was not mad anymore because it tasted exactly like McDonald's ice cream. Oh. They, they 100%, they had a spy work at McDonald's for probably 15 years, gathering their recipe piece by piece. It's the exact same ice cream as McDonald's. Because I love McDonald's ice cream because it kind of tastes like thick whipped cream. I know, it's not even ice cream at a certain point. I love this type of ice cream. It's so simple. And then I got this piece of like cinnamon apple pizza and like um it was warm it wasn't cold which i liked oh yeah i was expecting it to be a little dry little rinky dink but it actually was good it was moist and hot and wet should we go yeah Crazy to think that the Pizza Ranch experience has concluded. So now it comes to the question, is Pizza Ranch good or disgusting? So my thoughts are this. You have to be in a salt and mood for Pizza Ranch. And on this specific day, I was in that mood. So it was not disgusting. It was actually delightful. Yeah, Pizza Ranch is delightful. Come on down to Pizza Ranch. <laughs> Bye. Bye.